Okay, so you've been asked to find the voltage across three different resistors in a circuit. You have voltage uh, number one across resistor number one over here. You have voltage number two across resistor number two, voltage across resistor number three. In addition to this, you've been asked to find the current going through these resistors, I1, I2, and I3. And this circuit has a 5 volt voltage source in it, and these components are all in parallel. Your resistor values are listed up here. Resistor number 1 is a 1500 ohm resistor, resistor number 2 is a 4700 ohm resistor, and resistor number 3 is a 1000 ohm resistor. Okay? So, as I tell my students all the time, best thing to do is to start off by putting the resistors in place on the paper in front of you. And so resistor number one will be placed there, which is a 1500 ohm resistor. Resistor number two will be placed here, which is the 4700 ohm resistor. And resistor number three, which is a 1000 ohm resistor, will be placed in this position. Okay. Now, if I now go ahead and look, uh, put this onto my, transfer these resistors onto my breadboard. And on the breadboard here, you'll see that I already have set up um, wires coming across here from the terminals onto my uh, bus. And I made this first bus here that's going down my plus voltage bus. And this is a bus going down here, the negative voltage bus, or to be more specific, the negative terminal of my, uh, my power supply and the positive terminal of my power supply. Okay, that's the best way to actually say this. All right. So according to this, what we're going to do is we're going to have resistor number one and we're going to put resistor number one in this position here we're going to put resistor number two and I'm going to move that about one space over put them in the same uh, row both in there and I'm going to put now resistor number three over on this side As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and uh, do this. I'm going to move resistor number two into the onto this side here. So I have my three resistors set up: resistor number one, resistor number two, resistor number three. Now, as you remember, that this line here is not, or it's a break in between both of these sides. So I need to get have a way to connect the two sides together. So I'm going to make a jumper from one side here over to the other side. So I'm going to take that jumper and I'm going to electronically connect these two sides together at the top there. And then let's find a small wire here, or the smallest of what I have anyway, and connect the bottom wire, the bottom resistors together at the bottom two sides here. And so that goes here and that goes there. Okay. So now those are connected. I also need to connect now, because remember, these are all in parallel with the voltage sources. So I need to connect the top part here to the positive bus. Okay, and I need to connect the bottom part to the positive bus, or negative bus, pardon me, the bottom part here to the negative bus. Okay, and so now my circuit is connected. They're all ready to go with the exception of my voltage supply. And now I'm going to connect my voltage supply into uh, the circuit. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on now my voltage supply. My voltage supply again is 5 volts. And so now I have my voltage supply into the circuit. I'm going to move this over slightly just so that we can put the voltmeter in here. And when you're when you're dealing with the voltmeter in this multi in this um, multi meter setup here, my voltage terminal is over here at the top. There should be a little V that indicates that, and my common terminal is here. So I put my red wire in here, black wire in here, and that's only for you know just so we don't confuse things. All right. I'm going to turn since my voltage supply is no more than five volts. I'm going to turn my voltage here up to 20 because there's two and then 20 and I'm going to use a DC voltage supply alright I'm going to turn my voltage source on 
okay and I see that there's a little bit of a reflection on here so I'll have to just move this up to the camera when I when I uh, when I start checking so what you'll notice here is okay if I check the voltage across the resistors it's a little bit tough you'll notice that I have 4.95 volts 4.95 volts in fact let me just uh, do it this way something to put underneath there you go so that there's a little bit less reflection on there so again I when I check I'm going to put the probes on the ends here and you'll notice as soon as I get that stabilized I have 4.95 for my voltage across the uh, first resistor across resistor number two Make sure everything is in. Four point nine five and cross resistor number three. Four point nine five also. So those are the three voltages across the resistors. All right. Now, in order to check uh, for the current, what I'm going to need to do is to break the circuit in order to uh, check for the current. And what, since the bottom here is a little bit more accessible, I'm going to actually break the uh, circuit at those points at the bottom. So, in order to find the current for resistor number one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take remove that uh, resistor from the line there. Okay, remove that resistor from the line. And then what I'm going to have to do also is I'm going to have to put a wire into the circuit where that resistor came from. So now that's in the same line there. And to check the current, I'm going to need to turn this over to 2. I'm going to use 2 milliamps. And I'm going to need to take the red cable from over on that side and put it into the current terminal, which is over on this side for this meter. Okay. Put the current over there. And so now in order to check the current, I'm going to need to touch a resistor that I'm using here. And that's this resistor here at the bottom. And I'm going to need to touch the wire here at the top. And I'm going to get a current. Oops. Okay. It says that that's too much. Uh, let's see. Let's go with 20 micro. Oh, pardon me. Let's go with uh, 200 milliamps instead. 200 milliamps. There we go. All right. And so what it says now is I have 3.3 milliamps of current going through resistor number one. Okay. 3.3 milliamps of current going through resistor number one and what I'm going to do is take that wire out put the resistor back in the same line put the resistor back in the same line as the uh, wire here resistor number two I'm going to pull that out of that line put it into a line uh, further down so I put resistor number two out of the line put it further down I'm going to put this wire into the line up here and I'm going to check the current through there and I'm going to check current by putting the uh, the wires here on each of the and let me see if I can get around here a little bit on each of the wires so it touched the, I'm touching the wire that I inserted and then the resistor I pulled out of out of the uh, circuit here and I end up with one milliamp and it says negative it just means that it's actually backward so I'm going to put that so I get 1.1 milliamp, 1.1 milliamp. All right, and then I'm going to now 
take that wire back out, put the resistor back into that line. Okay. And then resistor number three, I'm going to take out of that line. And I'm going to put the wire into the same line there. I'm going to check the current again. And this is now the current that's going through resistor number three. Uh, let's make sure that resistor is in there. All right, and it's saying that the current going through there is 5.0 milliamps. 5.0 milliamps. All right. So those are the three currents that are going through the three resistors there. And so we've successfully found that. I'm going to return my resistor into that circuit. And so that's how you check current. That's how you'd set up your, your resistors uh, for a parallel circuit here uh, and check current and voltage across those, each of those resistors.